Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and today I'm going to be playing Preta Porte, the third edition, the fancy new revised Kickstarter edition that uh, plays largely the same as the original, if you're familiar with that, but all new artwork, it's been tweaked a little bit, tightened up, and just a lovely new presentation of it. I am filming a playthrough today. I don't know why I said that part. <laughs> this is being filmed the uh, static camera or handheld camera. You can switch between them in the description. I'd recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles because any mistakes I make will hopefully be corrected up there. So in this game, we are fashion houses. We are trying to get the best designs, the best people working for us, the best buildings and things. And we're trying to make the most money, essentially. But we will be judged on all sorts of stuff at various exhibitions throughout the year. We play in a year of the life of our companies and there will be two rounds where we will do worker placement, get our materials, our designs, our employees. And then in the third month, we will have an exhibition that works differently. We don't place any workers. We're basically evaluating the stuff that we have done. And that is going to repeat four times. Things change up towards the end of the game. Different cards will come out. Uh, exhibitions work in a bit of a, a slightly different way. But yeah, this is the structure of the game. So let's get started. I'm doing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty, who is green fashions. I am uh, redware. And the first thing that we do is work a place. Placement. Now, this is the kind of worker placement game like, say, Snowdonia, where everybody places their workers, you know, one at a time, alternating between all the players. And then once all of the workers have been placed, we resolve the locations in order. So we decide what we're doing now. We each have three workers to place. And th there are different ways that you can go about things in pret a -Port -A. It's not just about grabbing designs and the materials and trying to just churn them all out. It can be about that, and you can do really well doing that, but you can also do well just doing, you know, the business side of things, the behind-the-scenes stuff, and, of course, a mixture of the two. You're not tied to them. So where would I like to go? Now, each location in a two-player game just has two spots available, and we each have three workers, so, yeah, it can get quite tight placing things. Now, I can see the first exhibition, they have a kind of ranking of what they care about. In the first exhibition, we are going to rank all four of these things in this first tile. So the most important thing is PR in the first exhibition. It's not necessarily, you know, trendy outfits or the number of designs you showed or the quality of what you showed. It's all about PR in this first exhibition. And that's why I think I am going to place over here for this modeling agency. Now these are contracts. It's a contract with the modeling agency. My worker goes up here and contracts can give you quite powerful things, but they fade over time and eventually go away. So this activates in an exhibition round. That's what this uh, symbol means here. I don't take it just yet. I'm just showing you. <laughs> so it activates in an exhibition round only. So it's useless to me in the normal rounds, but it will give me two PR tokens towards, you know, having the most PR to get the, the most prestige. Uh, once it flips over after that first exhibition, it's only going to give me one PR, and then when it flips again after the next exhibition, it goes away. So that's what I am hoping for, and usually, you know, I'm the furthest left, I will get the first pick. But later on in the game, there will be cards, like, say, this, this sales representative here, this is an employee that you've got, it resolves in number six in one of the materials houses. And you resolve these cards here, these without pawn cards, before everybody else. So if you've got a card that gets you a contract before anybody else, you, know, you get first pick before even the people who placed workers there do. Nothing like that's come out for contracts yet, though, so I don't have to worry about that. There are, you, know, you see all of the cards in the game during, uh, over the course of this year. It's just going to be a different order based on the shuffle, and certain cards will only come out in the last three months. So Marty, I think, I think we're going to have him be more fashion-oriented, and he wants to get his designs made. Now, at the exhibition, you'll be showing as many designs as you can of one particular style. Now, the style is the colour of the cards. So, 
Marty has started with these two particular things. You get given a random clothing type, so Marty's uh, Marty's fashion business is particularly good at making shoes, and this determined the two designs that he started with as well. So he's got... You get bonuses for making items of clothing out of the type that your company is good at. You'll also get bonuses if they're printed on the card. You see some here, you'll get extra trend for doing. So Marty can see over here that a design has come out for another shoe that he would get a bonus for. And since you have to submit, you know, all cards of, a, of the same color, it's another red one. So he could get some nice bonuses from doing those in one go. So I think he is going to try and lock in that design first. Now I am, I'm, we're just going to go in polar opposite uh, directions here. I am going to go for an employee. Now you have space for three employees at the start of the game. And you know, you have generic employees working for you at the start. So you have got some upkeep and your upkeep is going to be increased when you hire, you know, skilled employees. So a marketing agent here, you'll see is going to increase my upkeep from one to two when uh, I've actually employed the marketing agent. You can upgrade them later as well uh, to do more stuff. What I'm thinking about getting is the marketing agent because it gives you more PR. So I'm kind of banking on PR here for every retail outlet or major retail outlet. Now, none have come out just yet. So I'm kind of I'm having a bit of a gamble here that I'm going to be able to get one in uh, in a future round, you know, before uh, the exhibition to try and maximize this. But, you know, they're, they're all in the deck, and so I know they're going to come out sooner or later. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. You can get more spaces for employees, by the way, by having buildings, which uh, I'm sure we will get soon enough. Now, Marty wants to... I think he wants to increase the likelihood of him getting better designs. He's going to go for a building here, and I think he wants to go for the designer office, which you know, it's got a pawn symbol, so it's not just something you get when the phase happens. You have to have placed a pawn at uh, location five, which is getting the new designs. This lets him draw an extra design whenever he goes here. So that could be a good boost. And you know, maybe he gets the design office that lets him sell designs that don't particularly fit in with his plan. That could be something to do. Over to me, and I am going to keep ignoring uh, my, my fashion sensibilities, although that is a way that you get uh, a load of money. So it might not be the best thing to do. I, uh, I am going to go for another employee, and we'll see how that goes. I think Marty is going to get some materials as well. So there are three places you can get materials from, and they work slightly differently. So in these two, you can have as many as you want of one color. And they represent, you know, different materials used to make the, the item that you're making. This one, you can have as many colors as you like, but just one of each. And the prices are different for each color at each location as well. The cheapest here and then more and more expensive. Also, for every pawn that you place here, in the first one you get one quality token, two quality tokens, three quality tokens. They are all swallowed up at the exhibition, whether you win the quality ranking or not. But in the first exhibition, quality isn't really something we need to worry that much about. It's the least important thing. So we can look from this chart here in a two player game, the winner of the fourth ranked item. So quality in this case will get one ribbon and second place gets nothing. So it's, it's only a one ribbon difference to have the most quality tokens. So it's not, it's nice to have, but it's not really worth going out of your way to get it. So Marty's going to go for cheap and cheerful and just the one quality token here at location six. Other places we didn't go to, uh, we've got location number nine here where you can just pick up two quality tokens or a PR or five money or a trend token. Or you can go to location one, which is where you can take loans out to get some more money. So we've placed all of our workers now. We can move on to resolving the locations. So I'm up here, I'm taking this modeling agency contract. So that is going to kick in in the exhibition. And haven't really left room for all of this stuff, have I? I've tried to squeeze it all into the frame for the static cameras, but yeah, it would go to the left and right of your player board normally. Marty is getting a building, he's getting the designer office, but he needs to pay. Now, when you take it, it's $4 that he needs to pay from his starting earnings, but he's got a lot of starting earnings. He's got uh, 40, I believe we start with. Uh, and he's gonna have an upkeep of this. It's gonna be $2 to upkeep every round. 
and you can adjust your upkeep here. So his upkeep's just gone up to five when starting at three. Now to the employees, I am, I'm getting this marketing agent, but I, I also know that <laughs> this is going to be rubbish if they don't come out until, say, the third quarter. But uh, the retail office, the retail outlets that I want will give you money based on the number of ribbons that you've got. So I want to try and get a load of ribbons, but uh, this will just give me some ribbons. In the exhibition only, it won't give me them every round. And getting them in the very first round means I'm going to have to pay a lot of upkeep. But I've only increased my upkeep by two here because it was already at minus one. And now it's at minus two instead. So my, my upkeep is five rather than three. So not a huge loss there. We come down to location five and Marty is going to grab his other shoe here. And he gets to draw a design as well, thanks to his designer office that he got earlier. And he's got a jacket that doesn't really matter. And it's a different style, uh, musician style. Then finally, we come over to the materials here. And Marty is going to, now both of his designs here want white. Now white is the most expensive, but this is kind of the cheapest way of getting it. So he's going to spend 16 on getting two white materials. And they come out of the funky tray that comes with the game, by the way. And so he's got two of those materials now. And you can put them on there. You can move them about as you like until the fashion show happens because he might change his mind on what he's going to show there. So we've resolved all of the locations. Next is the growth phase. Now, each player can upgrade one building and or one employee. And you can see from the bottom of your employee or building what the upgraded side will do. So it would cost me two to train my marketing agent. And instead of getting me one PR for every retail outlet that I've got at the time of the exhibition, it would also get me two ribbons. Or this one, instead of just getting me two ribbons, would get me four ribbons. Now, I think this one's better to upgrade because this one doesn't rely on me getting a retail outlet. I still might not get one. <laughs> so I think I will upgrade this employee. So that's going to cost me two of my dollars. And my employee is now upgraded to an experienced modeling agency representative, but my upkeep has gone up one further. Now, Marty could wait to upgrade this because there's, a, there's another reason he wanted this. It's not just to draw an extra design. The upgraded part of it means that you, will, you still get to draw the card. But additionally, in the show phase, so in the exhibition, you can place a business style or a casual style on one of your designs. So Marty can turn one of his other designs into something. So that is even better. So he could wait because, you know, you're going to have to pay more upkeep doing it early, but maybe he wants to upgrade another building that he gets next round. So I think he's going to do it early. He's going to get $3 and his upkeep is going to go up by one. You see, he's only got 17 left and he needs to get, you know, if he wants to get a lot of different colors, he needs to pay 10 just for the materials, just to get those reds. If he wants to throw in the red and yellow as well, yeah, he might need to take a loan so he can afford all of this stuff. But he's going to have a lot of stuff to show. Just unfortunately, having a lot of stuff isn't really the most important thing at this particular exhibition, at the very first one. So maybe he would just submit a few clothes to start with, you know, just a, a rubbish selection, and then wait for, say, the second quarter's exhibition that really, really, really cares about how many designs you're taking there. Okay, now we have the upkeep phase. There are also, you know, there are employees and things that affect the upkeep phase that will earn you some money. There are accountants and stuff that can help your finances and maybe claw some of this upkeep back. But for now, I'm going to have to pay six of my dollars. And so is Marty. We've ended up with the same. So Marty only has $11 left to be able to do something. So I think uh, he's probably going to take a loan. So we've had the first placement round and then the, and then the upkeep. So now we move on to the second one. We clear out all of the cards that weren't taken and fill them up again. Oh, wow. I wish I had more workers. The retail outlets come out. Another marketing agent's come out. Let's look at this contract. The upkeep of all your buildings is zero. And then the investment house is really cool. It only happens in the upkeep phase, but it lets you spend $5, 10 or $15 to gain 8 17 or 25 points. So it's, you know, you're investing the money. You can't spend it now in the game, but, you know, 
it's it's converting it to more stars. You add your points, your your stars that are around the outside, to your money at the end. Okay, so I want to secure the retail outlet. Am I going to even have anything to show at the exhibition? Or am I just going full on business? Let's go full on business and see how it works. Uh, Marty has to think about money. He's only got 11 and his upkeep is 6. So if he wants to actually be able to buy anything, he's only going to be able to get a loan of 20 as well. We'll see how that works in a second. He's going to go to the bank. Although, is, th is there somewhere else that he'd like to go first? You know, if he got that employment agency contract, he would be able to grab uh, an employee. So the accountant in the upkeep phase gets you $5. Or he gets rid of the upkeep of his buildings and grabs another building. Yeah, that's another designer office for different types of, um, of things. Yeah, he'll go for that contract to resolve location four. Okay, for me, now I'm not particularly sure what's going to be left there. I want that other marketing agent, but if Marty takes it away, the accountant's still good. That's the decision you have to make in this, because does Marty let me have this horrible engine that I'm building, or uh, does he try and go his own way? He needs to go to the bank, so let's put him up there. And then I'm not going to get the investment house just yet. I'm going to grab another marketing agent. Now I know that that retail outlet's there. So this is too much PR, really. Marty's not even competing for PR. And I'm getting a ridiculous amount of it. But it's going to give me ribbons as well once I've upgraded them. I think this is okay. Let's go. Oh, Marty needs to... He wants a material of each type, doesn't he? So I'm not doing anything at the fashion show, which is pretty uh, dire for a fashion company, isn't it? But this exhibition is apparently all about getting the word out. And I am massively good at, uh, at doing that, at getting my PR out there. And Marty could be going, you know, to location nine and grabbing a PR if he wanted, because, you know, if you don't get anything, then you don't get second place. But second place in a two-player game, uh, you know, first player gets four ribbons, second place gets one. So it's not, yeah, it's not particularly that, uh, that necessary. So resolving locations, the bank is taking loans. The loans you are able to take is your biggest collection. So basically how many cards of the same color that you've got. So Marty's biggest collection at the moment is two multiplied by 10. So he can take a loan of up to 20. He's going to grab a loan for 20. These are punishments, by the way, rather than loans. You have to pay back more than you took. So Marty is going to increase here his, uh, let's just take a 20. And I'll be easier about it. Whilst he's going to increase his upkeep by two here with the, you know, interest in the loan, he only has to pay 20 back to repay this loan and stop that. So let's move that up a little bit. His upkeep goes up, but he gets $20. Then we go to the contracts. Marty is grabbing... Yeah, he's going to go for the employment agency. So he's got a contract with the employment agency, and when location four rolls around, he will get to do it. Now, I really want that investment house, but I'm going to go for the retail loot let, and that's going to give me money for the number of ribbons that I've got in the upkeep phase, which is nothing right now, but as soon as this exhibition's finished, that is going to work out well for me, I think. So I need to pay four to get that. And I've increased my upkeep by two. And, oh yeah, it's lucky that I did that because, um, why am I here twice? Did I have a good explanation for that when I was doing it? Because yeah, I know Marty's coming here. Why did I want to come here? And yeah, maybe, yeah, let's go for another building. Am I still in the static camera? I think just about. I'm going to go for the investment house and just really go into the finance uh, part. Because Marty's coming here. Marty gets to resolve first, because your without pawns things go first. And so, is he going to try and grab the marketing agent from underneath me? PR is going to be rubbish for, a, for the next exhibition, but the one after that, it's going to be important again, and then the final exhibition, it's going to be important. I think he's going to try and save some money and get the accountant. So the accountant's going to increase his upkeep by one, he needs to push his uh, player mat up a little bit. So it's at nine now. But he's going to get some back in the upkeep phase. Now I get to pick. I'm going to take that marketing agent, which increases my upkeep by one again. So I have a, a 10 there now. So I'll put my 10 in the ones. And the ones on the zero. That makes sense. Seems a strange way of having it. Uh, so then nobody's getting any designs. So Marty's actually missing out on his... Um, on his extra drawing, but he, he did use it last time. And then in materials, so Marty wants, so he has to earmark nine, basically. So he's got 22 for materials. He definitely wants a purple and a white. No, he's got, oh, he's got a white, hasn't he? Purple and a blue. So that's 10. 
Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate that he can, he can make one of these a red. But I don't think he's got the money to be able to... So a red and a yellow would be 16. He can't buy two purple, so that's not worth looking at. So what would he need? He'd need 16, 22, 26, and he's got 22. But actually, this gives him five back, so I think he can afford it. Yeah, let's go for it. So he's going to get, what is it? Blue, purple is 10, 17, 26. Yes, he's going to spend 26. I'm not sure why his upkeep is nine, actually. It should be three, four, five, six, seven, shouldn't it? So it's not even as much to worry about. Actually, that's a terrible idea because you can't be considered at all at the exhibition if you show nothing. So I am going to have to go and grab some stuff as well. Oh, wait, Marty should get his uh, quality. And I also get two quality for going here. And so the cheapest one is green and yellow for me, I think, which is going to cost me 12 to get those. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can afford to do this one. This would get me an extra trend token, but hey. Uh, so in the growth phase, we can upgrade and employ... I, I want the money available to upgrade this stuff. So I want to upgrade my outlet, which is going to cost me three and increase my upkeep. Now, can I get, afford to keep doing this? Because my upkeep is now 12. Yeah, if I pay to upgrade my outlet as well, I'm not going to be able to afford my upkeep. So I think I'm going to have to just leave it. Uh, just upgrading the building for now, I think. Marty only has the accountant to upgrade, so that's going to cost him two, and his upkeep is six, seven, eight, ten. Yep. Oh, mine should actually only be ten. So I can afford. Yeah, because so I, can, I can upgrade my marketing agent, which costs two, and my upkeep goes up by one. So my upkeep is eleven, which I can afford nicely. Marty's upkeep is ten. And he only has three dollars. But luckily, he's got the experienced accountants that in the upkeep phase gets him seven. So he's got exactly enough. Now we can move on to. So we've had the upkeep phase. Now we can move on to the exhibition. So the first thing that happens in an exhibition is exchange prestige for points. And this doesn't happen in the first phase because nobody has got any ribbons to start the first exhibition with. Next up, we have the show phase where we work out our collections. I'm showing this uh, sporty trainer and Marty is in the show phase. He gets to turn something into a business wear. So uh, this jacket suddenly becomes business uh, casual and he is going to show this exhibition all of the same color. Now, as for bonuses, I don't get anything. Marty when you show the type of clothing that your company is very good at, you get a trend token. And this design has a trend token on it as well. So Marty is going to get three trend tokens. Now we have the awards phase. And I'll just bring this a bit closer. In the very first exhibition, we look at all four things. They are all considered here. Later on, so you'll see there's two tiles for exhibition two. We look at the top three categories of each tile. Later on in the next exhibition, the top two categories of all three tiles, and then just the top category of each of the four tiles at the very end here. So we look at PR first. Oh, and I need to do my, uh, my cards, actually, to get all of my tokens. So I need two PR tokens, and then I need a PR token for each retail outlet twice. So that's another two, plus four, six of these ribbons. And that's before we've actually started awarding anything. So the awards phase, we're looking at PR first. Marty has no PR tokens, so he is not even eligible for second place. But in a two-player game, that's not as much of a big deal because second place is often nothing apart from the very top thing. So I get four more ribbons for winning that category. Next category is trend tokens. I have none to so Marty's three. So yeah, it would have been nice to do that one. I couldn't have afforded it though. It would have been nice to do that one because I would have had one trend token. And I, actually, yeah, again, I've just made, I've just been through this. Second place isn't worth it, so it doesn't matter. Marty gets three and I get nothing. Next is number of designs. Marty wiped the floor with me there. He gets another two to my nothing. And finally, we have quality tokens. We each, Marty shouldn't have two. He should have three, shouldn't he? Because he went here and here. 
So he has three to my two and he gets an extra one. So we end the exhibition, Marty with six and me with uh, six, eight, ten, because I got six from my business dealings. So next up, you get money. That's the sales phase. First of all, the prestige effect. Your prestige tokens here are multiplied by the number of designs that are in your collection. So unfortunately for me, I just get 10 because I've only got one thing in my collection. Marty, on the other hand, ended up with six prestige tokens, but he's got three designs, so he gets 18. Then we sell our collections. Mine is just worth 20 here. So this is the money I get to start the next round with. And Marty, he is, yeah, he's not going to have as many points and as much uh, prestige as me, but just look at all of this. He is getting uh, 20, 40, 60, 72. Wow. And then all of the materials and the designs themselves are taken away because they have been sold. And we discard all of our PR quality and trend tokens as well because we start each exhibition completely fresh. Finally, just like in a normal round, we have an upkeep round. So luckily, I have gained a money for each ribbon up to 10. I have 10 ribbons, so I'm going to get 10 money back, and additionally, an extra one. So I'm going to get 11 money. Unfortunately, my upkeep is 11, so I've held onto my money, so that's a good thing, isn't it? And that's going to happen every upkeep now, so if I can keep getting uh, good prestige tokens at each exhibition, if I can just hang on in there while not really uh, submitting much, that would be great. We also need to weaken our contract at the end of an exhibition, so I'm only going to get one PR token next time, but PR doesn't really matter that much, so it, uh, it's not going to be a huge blow. Uh, Marty now, instead of getting a free trip to location four, he has to pay two to resolve it instead. And at the end of the next exhibition, they're going to go away completely. So I think now we have seen everything that is in the game. We now repeat this uh, three more times with some more powerful cards and things coming out in the very last quarter. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there. I would normally do uh, full playthroughs, but uh, yeah, there's not time to do every single game all the way through, unfortunately, because I would love to, uh, I'd love to do that, but hey, we've got to squeeze more games in. Uh, I believe you've seen everything there. I'm just repeating myself here while I try and look at these cards to see what uh, might happen. So yeah, Marty could double up on accountants and just completely, you, know, you can turn your upkeep into a positive thing and be earning money from the upkeep phase with all of these accountants, especially if you upgrade them. You know, uh, trend is uh, is important for one of the tiles here. So getting the designer that'll get you more trend tokens maybe or upgrading them so they get you two trend tokens without even having to, having to bother much with the clothes. I could grab another retail outlet and you, know, you can see how I can start manipulating all of this to get loads of ribbons. Each retail outlet would give me 11 money each at the end of every Every single upkeep because these these do get cashed in at the beginning of the exhibition but then hopefully i'll learn ribbons in the exhibition and be able to keep trading them in and keep you know upgrading all of this stuff getting more and more employees i think there's another marketing agent in there somewhere there's another accountant as well uh, but uh yeah that's uh, that marketing agent maybe there isn't maybe uh, two is plenty because yeah there's another retail outlet there might there might even be a third retail outlet but you can see how all of this will uh, will snowball and combine together. But I've still, while doing all of this, I nearly forgot, and I wouldn't have gotten anything in that exhibition. I nearly forgot to get any materials to, because you have to show something at the exhibition, otherwise, you know, they wouldn't let you in. Uh, but hey, I think that uh, that should give you some idea of uh, Pret a Porter. Marty would go into this next round. Maybe he would pay off his uh, his loan to stop worrying about this. But he goes into the next round, stinking rich. And with the ability to draw some more things, he would probably you know, go for all of this uh, yellow stuff maybe to get a decent collection, gather up all of the materials and keep going in that direction. And I would probably try skirting around doing not many things, but uh, try and really go for the business side of thing and pump up that, uh, you know, getting retail outlets, cards that reward you for having retail outlets, that kind of thing. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you a good idea of what pret a -Porter is like. If you'd like to know what I think about it, that's coming up on the screen soon. If you'd like to help me keep making more playthroughs and, you know, uh, make uh, full playthroughs for more things and more time to make them, uh, then it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips and every little helps if you would like to get involved. Thank you for watching though and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone. <laughs>